Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here, and welcome back to Let's Play Popo and Yo. Things are not all sunshines here. You know, though she was a jerk to me, she was my friend. And I'm a pretty princess now. Whatever, I'm going inside. Come with if you want to. Oh, it's the... Oh, it's... Unfortunately, it's the entire game being shown out here, but this is also looks to be the place of the shaman. This is, I mean, we've lost so much to get here that I guess it's kind of surreal to, that's not, wow. We've been striving for so long to get here that it's kind of surreal to get here. I mean, just the various things we've dealt with throughout the adventure. And all the things we've had to deal with getting to this point. Also, being real with you, I can't remember if this is the last thing you do in the game, or if there's like a little bit more, but... I felt like where I ended off last time was about the proper place to end things off. Yes, our memories. Memories of time, fun times we've had. Oh, so I guess we have to turn it until they actually light up, right? But I believe, again, if it, has, if it hasn't been apparent this whole time, I think now everything will kind of come into play. The imagination of a child can hide and mask things that they don't want to remember. And things they refuse to accept. Every person has their demons. Every person has their flaws 
and their missteps. And unfortunately, for a lot of people, there's no way to stop that. And adding to the problem doesn't make it any better. But, people are people. You cannot... Whatever is their fight, ends up having to be their fight. And it cannot be yours. Unfortunately, some people get caught up in the crossfire. And some people... That's actually really disturbing. And some people, it can't be helped. But, there is something to be said in all this, and I'm trying to get to that point, but I don't know what it's going to come along. Sometimes, the best thing you can do is try and save people from what could be their own ultimate demise. And try as you may to, to help them. But, at the end of it all, there's sometimes people who don't want to accept your help. Who can't accept your help. Something in them may stop them, or something else may do so as well. At that point, you have to understand that so one person's issues and ideals are something you can't fix. Also, I'm gonna let, like, <laughs> I'm gonna totally ruin this because I want to see if there's something up there. Maybe afterwards. Alright, back to serious bits. But, no matter how much you try and help, sometimes the best thing you can do is let them go. In letting them go, you let them deal with their own demons. With a state of mind that their demons are not your demons. And at some point, even through all that, 
you have to confront them, let them know that you're not going to be part of part of what they of what they're doing themselves. I'm trying to keep myself composed here, but... This is the reason why I wanted to play Popo and Yo for you guys. Some friends, sometimes even loved ones. You can only deal with them and their demons for so long before you have to realize you can't deal with it. And find your way out. Or, at the very least, stand up to that, to that person. I was lucky. I recently had a situation like this. And the best thing you can do to help somebody in a situation like this is to listen to them and provide support wherever you can. Don't Superman in there and save that person. But if they need to let off some frustration, listen. They need a safe place to be. Help. As I said, I was lucky. I got out of my situation because I'm in a place where I've had the ability to. Some people, they're not that lucky. And that's why I wanted to bring this to you. Why I wanted to bring this game to you and show it to you, the viewer. Because not everything is sunshine and rainbows. And all you can do for somebody who is stuck in a situation as this, as you have seen here, painted before you, or if you are one stuck like this is all I can tell you is it gets better you are going to have to deal with with this issue for quite some time but at some point at some point you do get the chance to break free from it or like I said at the very least Stand up to it. Everyone, I really do hope you have enjoyed this playthrough of Papo and Yo, and the message I've hoped to convey behind it. I've got nothing much else to say, really. It's a real... This is something that hit a little close to home in recent years, and got brought up again recently while I was... while I was streaming something, so... I figured I'd use the medium that I have to my advantage to bring, it to, to bring something like this to light. I'm repeating myself, I'm well aware. Something I can add into this is, if you're somebody struggling with something that you know is not making you who you used to be, people are there that want to help you. 
And as much as you want to fight it, you have to let them in. I'm going to sign out. But everyone, everyone else, you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you in the next project, whatever that might be.